A unique creature from the sea has made its way to our shoreline. It looks sort of like a jellyfish and only happens when conditions are just right, like on a windy day. CBS 8's Jenny Day joins us from La Jolla Shores with what we learned. They're technically called Valella Valellas, but their nicknames are by the wind sailor or blue sail, all because of their bright color and the part on their back that sticks out above the water like a sail. Right now they're all over the beach. They do look like little sailboats. Nature's amazing. We never know when they're going to show up, how many are going to show up, how long they'll stick around. So there's sort of just that unique curiosity um, that I think makes everyone excited to see them. A lot of interest in what's washed ashore at the beach today. I think they look kind of like balloons. At La Jolla Shores, thousands are on the sand as we speak. We're learning more together. They must be coming in from the north because Imperial Beach lifeguard said no sightings there. But from Mission Beach to Oceanside, you should have luck. It is very unique because this is the first time I've ever seen something like this. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. When alive, they're bright blue. When dead, almost clear. Their whole lives, they are guided by the wind and never have a say in where they go. Valellas are at the mercy of the breeze and they get blown to shore during those times with strong shoreward winds. And don't be too sad for the lives lost. It may just be our ecosystem working perfectly by transporting nutrients to the sand. What is being taken out of the ocean and put onto our beaches, um, you know, a lot of carbon. I wonder if it's like the way the environment kind of rebalances itself. They are related to the jellyfish, but have more in common with the Portuguese man of war. They do have stinging tentacles, but the Valella Valella save them for their prey and are not usually harmful to humans. Valellas that we see floating on the air-sea interface are eating things like small zooplankton, sort of like what I have in my background here. As for what eats them, certain snails and fish. I've also seen a mola mola, the big sunfish, just popping them like candy. In their two stages of life, the first is spent deep down at the bottom of the sea where they reproduce, then stage two is spent at the surface. It's one of those um, once-in-a-lifetime encounters for a lot of people that visit here. Because this happens even less than once a year, come on out and see them for yourself. Reporting from La Jolla Shores, Jenny Day, CBS 8.